Hi, my name is Belgica and I'm an actress based out of California. And a question that I often get from 12 year olds all the way up to 30 something year olds, as far as like I know, because they comment I'm, you know, 34 years old, is it too late to start acting? Or I did acting in high school and then I stopped and now I'm 27 and I am looking to get into acting. Is this too late? I'm going to give you my opinion based off of my experiences and really nobody has ever directly told me anything of, oh, your, you know, acting career is going to be over when you're 21 or whatever. So I'm going to tell you my opinion on this quickly. I'm not going to talk about it for too long because I'm not a casting director, so I'm not in the position of giving you an acting job. You know what I mean? I'm not, I don't have the power to say, okay, 21 year olds, anybody older than 21, you, you're not allowed to start acting. First of all, for the people that are under 18 saying, is it too late to start acting? <laughs> I don't even know why this question is a question because maybe you're thinking of a child actor, but I think you should live your life. I think you should, or your childhood. I think you should enjoy your childhood. If you're under 18, just live your life. Don't worry about acting. Do it later after you have enjoyed your life. With that being said, if an opportunity comes that you can act when you're under 18 and it is a positive experience that you really enjoy doing, like why not? And what I think people are actually asking me when they ask, like, is it too late to start acting is, can I be famous, you know, starting at this age? And honestly, I don't know <laughs> if I ever get there, I'll let you know, but I'm not interested in being famous. I'm interested in acting in enjoying my life and being happy while acting. So I'm almost 30. I should have started with that. I'm going to be 30 in a few weeks. And um, I mean, I haven't made as much money as I would like to off of this career because I studied this in college. It's what I spend most of my time in, you know, acting. It's something that I really, really enjoy. So yes, I want to make an income that's livable. Like I, I want to be able to live off of income from acting. But basically for me, like I'm... I feel a lot of the times like I'm just starting acting because I haven't had any big credits and I do want to be on TV and I do want to be in films in some of them. I'm not saying I want to like win an Oscar, which that I really don't care. I just want to enjoy myself and be in projects where I get paid enough so that I can, you know, actually buy a house one day so that I can actually pay my student loans one day. For me, it's more about treating it as a career and as a business versus I want to be famous and I want to reach this crazy goal of, you know, being like Beyonce. <laughs> if it's purely the acting that you want to be an actor, whether it be a commercial actor or an extra or a background actor, or if you want to be in plays and movies, whatever kind of actor that you want to be, if you want it to be a career or a hobby, I don't think that it's ever too late to start acting because why? <laughs> why would there be a deadline? For me, this is my opinion, and I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that will tell you different things. And in acting, you you are acting, you are portraying another human, and there are roles in every age, right? It is pretty difficult to find casting calls for people under 18 because, especially now with COVID, there's just so many things that go into it, like having a teacher on set or having a parent on set to accompany the the child or somebody who is supposed to accompany the child somebody that's hired specifically for that a lot of the time people will hire people that are over 18 that look under 18 to portray those roles because it's easier less paperwork less hassle so it is more difficult to be able to find casting calls especially at a beginner level for people under age under 18 and then also for older characters there are not that many stories about compared to younger characters like I would say between 18 and maybe like 40, 45 is where the majority of the casting calls are. And this is just my experience because the, you know, the casting calls that I have seen, but those ages that are a lot younger and older, there just tends to be less stories written about them, or it just tends to be more difficult logistically for the under 18. So that age range is where you will find the most casting opportunities, but Humans are all ages and there are stories about all kinds of people. And of course, if you don't see a story where you can play, why not create one? Why not create a character that you can play? If you are wanting to be famous and be in big blockbusters and things like that, yes, the vast majority of people are younger and 
really beautiful a lot of the time and talented of course what i'm trying to get to is that if you there's a specific kind of fame that you want it is more likely that you will be successful in that thing if you are younger sure but if you are purely wanting to start acting because it's something you've always wanted and it's something that you enjoy then i say go for it there are so many different ways that you can approach this so i don't want to make this video too long Long story short, I don't think it's ever too late to start acting. And if you are interested in acting, I have so many videos about acting. I have videos about casting websites, about self-tape auditions, about filming setup. I have filmed all of my YouTube videos except like one or two because I borrowed a camera once on a phone. So really there's no excuse. I, just like any other career, I really hope that whatever you're doing in life as a career is something that brings you a lot of joy and that you enjoy doing. I'm not saying that, you know, every career should be 100% beautiful and perfect, but it should be something that you do want to do more days than not and i hope that you are doing that and if you choose to be an actor know that it's a lot of work and that you will likely not make enough money for it from just that career for many many years so if you have something else like if you're really smart and you're in tech and you can work in tech for a few years save money and then go act or do both at the same time that's that's a pretty good recipe some making money in some other way um while you figure out how to make money doing your art is very important there's actors that will go their whole lives without making it being on a show that's their ultimate goal or some people will do it well into their 60s you know some people will be acting on broadway their whole life and still have to have a survival job another job to supplement that Check out my playlist on my channel. Like I said, I have so many videos about acting. I'd really appreciate it if you considered subscribing. And at the end of every video, I feature another channel. This is today's feature. If you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure you're subscribed, like this video, and leave me a comment.